Hey folks, Mike here with a final video on the Satisfactory Open Alpha Weekend. So, right now I'm about almost 10 hours in. Uh, I'd say for the first 8 hours or so, I kind of did everything that was available and since then I've kind of been coasting on what I can do. Um, mostly because this alpha is limited in terms of content. They limited to the first three tiers of stuff, which, uh, yeah, as we'll see, you know, this is going to be kind of a recap of the good and the bad, I suppose, for this game. Um, they've gated stuff really well. You know, they've they've gated pro progression in a very logical manner, and so since I can't really progress any further, there's a couple of other things I've been looking at doing. But yeah, uh, I think. For the amount of time I've put into it in a short day and a little bit, uh, I think I've spent enough time. Um, I'm really interested in this, and you know, gonna be interested in seeing how it goes moving forward. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I left that there. All right, so quick recap for those of you who may have watched my gameplay videos, and you're watching this one as well. Uh, we're kind of gonna recap here what I've done since then. So, what's new? Uh, coal. Coal was something that I remember exploring a little bit in the previous video. Well, now I've got a full setup here. I've got coal generate, uh, energy generators, coal power plants, I guess, what are they called? Coal generators, yep. I've got a truck station here that uh, removes coal from a truck that uh, it must be over there still. So I thought it was going to be close. Uh, we might see the truck eventually. Um, but I have a truck that's going to kind of a small remote station that has two coal pads or mines uh, that feed into a coal generator and a truck station. And so um, I have a truck that's automatically going over there somewhere to the coal. This truck station. It, these mines, they, well, what do they have? I think one of them feeds directly, and then the other one feeds to a splitter, which splits between that and the station. Yeah, I think that's how it is. Uh, so the station has a limited, you know, inventory space. This truck goes over there. It loads up whatever inventory it has, drives back here and unloads here. And so the unload here is split into each of these stations so that way uh, these coal plants can run. And so, oh there you go, there is my truck. So fully automated. Um, if I had one complaint is getting to getting that coal and getting this truck set up was kind of a tedious process. Um, I got lucky that I found a a rich coal vein not too far from here, so I was able to fuel the truck for a while. Um, but either by either I was really unlucky, or you know I didn't think about it well enough. Uh, the two coal pack patches I went to that were nearby were not exactly accessible. So there's one in the distance this way somewhere. Uh, that one I'm still not too sure how I'd go about it to make it automated like this. And this one here is like on this cliff kind of thing that you can see in the distance. So the truck can't get up the cliff. However, I could have put the miners and maybe even the uh, energy station, the coal generator up there, and then built a ramp down for the, um, the conveyor down to the truck station that would have been sitting you know, on the on the ground, where the truck would have been able to access it. That could have been a way to go about it. Uh, at the time, I didn't think about that because there's a, like a lot of enemies in that area, and so I didn't really want to engage too much. Uh, so instead, I went to the third area, ran out of coal, kind of had to walk for a while, refuel the truck, and build that little Ford base with a generator station on these things so a little bit of a tedious process I think they could have alleviated that by maybe giving you another vehicle before you get to the coal sta stage 
uh, maybe a vehicle that runs on biomass or biofuel of sorts and you know limit how much or even not even give you an inventory for that vehicle you know it's hey it's a recon vehicle like it it can carry you and that's it um, so at least that would have given me a, a quicker way to explore both of those areas and determine that oh, okay this is the one to go to and I wouldn't have ran out of coal right or I would have been able to drive up to there to get a bit of coal and carry it on my person because I can carry some stuff come back here build the stuff or build the stuff that I needed over there you know build the truck and then kind of set up the uh, autopilot pathing um, so this path by the way if you want to set up the trucks you just enable auto or you say uh, you know start recording it records your movements from here to there and back you stop recording turn on autopilot and you let the truck do its thing so pretty simple pretty straightforward it's just the the, the process of setting that up was a little tedious um, of course at this point you may see these conveyor belts are not moving that's because well I think we got a little bit of extra coal here I don't know um, so yeah I guess I could feed one of these back in to actually allow to actually allow this station to refuel and not me manually feeding coal to refuel with. Uh, but the other station over there has refueling set up, so I have plenty of coal. I don't have to do it. All right, so all of that, that whole coal setup was kind of important to get the rest of this production going. Um, so this is. Actually, there's an iteration between what you guys saw before and this one that you guys didn't see. I recently rejiggered all of this setup and I'm already ready to throw all of this down and rebuild it in a third, more efficient manner. Uh, but basically, yeah, we've got raw ore going into a container, split into three smelters, which feed to, you know, one uh, construction facility building plates, one building rods. And this one splits into two building rods, which then both feed into another construction facility building screws. And so we've got all of these plates, rods, and screws being feed, fed into different um, assembly stations. And this one builds reinforced, these two build reinforced plates. The difference is this one feeds back in to feed reinforced plates with rods to make the uh, space frames whereas this one I'm keeping the reinforced place as is this one's building rotors all being fed into this final container which are if I need to build some stuff that's kinda where I go for the most part so uh, took a bit of damage that's unfortunate ladders in this game <laughs> not straightforward uh, like most games to be fair uh, this is not a, a problem in this game in particular. Uh, so yeah, you can see a lot of raw resources. Um, and that, these things, well, raw resources, a lot of high-level items, rather, uh, which are needed for higher-level tiers and things like that. Uh, so yeah, if I, if I wanted to spend a bit of time here, seeing as I can't unlock any further in the alpha, uh, I would look at really being efficient here, like this outputs 30, this gets fed 30, so I don't have to split it into three. So I would have two smelters and then they'd feed the ingots into a container as opposed to the raw ore. Uh, and in that way, you know, the raw ingots, we can pull them out and each of the constructors can take what they need. Uh, so, you know, we'd move this we'd move these guys back to this side and then this would split into the constructors and then we'd build it that way. Uh, but I'd go even a step further and start organizing myself in such a way where all of the resources that I need, like I just have a ton of containers on like a bottom floor. So like even copper and even um, limestone or concrete in this case and wire spools like all of those would be lined up on the floor here so that way if I'm if I'm sitting here I want to do some sort of upgrade you know a, a tier 3 upgrade or tier 2 upgrade that I've not done yet 
where I need some of this stuff. I don't have to go and go up there to get the spool, go here to get whatever, get some concrete maybe over there. You know, all of them would be lined up down here with a bunch of conveyor belts. Pick what I want, throw it in there, get my unlock done, and, you know, easy as that. Um, so that's kind of some of the improvements I would look at doing. And then adding floors in would mean, you know, higher level stuff is higher up on the floors. Um, I can even get super fancy and start splitting off certain things. Like, for instance, I've got these products, but in terms of, like, standard iron plates and standard iron rods, I don't really have anywhere for those. Uh, I can maybe look here and say, oh, no, no spare plates. I do have spare rods, though. And I believe these don't have spare rods, do they? No spare rods. Uh, I got spare screws, though. So, yeah, a lot of things like that, like, getting rid of bottlenecks. I've got a couple of them. I've tried a few things to try and, yeah, improve that. And it's worked for the most part. Like, I only had one screw production set up down here before. Splitting it into two has helped a lot. Uh, but the output of both of these machines exceeds what one belt can do. I could use two belts. But then how do I split it among three belts, right? Like one would be overfed all the time. Uh, so if you had a, if you fed straight to a container of sorts, then it would be a bit easier to balance it out that way. Uh, but again, at that point I would come down to, you know, what, what's what's the next tier of upgrades? You know, what, what do they bring to the table? Because at this point, I don't know. And look at how the, all the upgrades have been. Like every tier has brought a lot of big improvements that I can use the table, so uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff to look into, um, but at least for now, with what's available in the alpha, yeah, a lot of good stuff here, you know, level 2 logistics, so I have to imagine tier 4 will bring more, more logistics stuff that would help me, maybe more logic or, you know, what have you. Uh, but I think that's it. Um, I think this game's done a lot of, like I said, all the upgrade paths and the kind of the build-up is done in such a way that's very logical and very easy to to, to ramp up to. So if, you're, if it's your first time playing this sort of game, you shouldn't get overwhelmed very quickly. Um, like, I like this kind of game, and I, I you know, I want to rebuild this entire area again for the third or fourth time now. And they've done a really, really smart thing by saying, hey, there's no waste. So if you remove like this conveyor belt, all the resources on it as well are kept. You know, all the res extra resources in some of these buildings that are backlogged, you keep all of that, you don't lose anything. Removing and rebuilding structures costs you nothing. So, you know, that's a super smart move. It seems kind of silly, but I've played a lot of games of this style that penalize you for removing buildings, which seems kind of absurd. Uh, but yeah, I think I think I might pick it up. It is hitting early access next week. I feel like I might pick this up because I've really enjoyed it up until now. It's rare that I spend more than you know an hour or two straight on a game. Much less in this case. I think I spent six hours straight one day uh, on Saturday. Uh, so I probably won't spend as much time on Sunday, which is when I'm recording this. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, really excited to see what they do next because for this being an early access, it sure is out pretty good right now. I've seen a lot worse coming out of early access. Uh, and they plan to, to finish this in about a year. Um, so obviously... You know, Coffee Stain Studios, they're, they're not they are not some small group of guys who've not done this kind of stuff before. You know, they've, they've built a couple really good games that I've enjoyed. And so, yeah, really excited to see what they're, they're going to do with this one. Um, because there's a lot of, a lot of little things that I, I'm seeing that, you know, go beyond the, the genre with exploration being a thing as well. Uh, that seems hell of interesting uh, but at least for now 
that is it. I'll leave you guys here, and I'll see you guys next time.